Okay. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that way. Endure, yes. What is good, all my dudes out there? It's your boy Roxel, and welcome back to Dangan. Dang, 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 Rompa. <laughs> Dangan Rompa, yeah. So, where we left off, we just found out that we are now trapped in this school, and if we want to leave, we have to kill someone. Time to see where this leads us. I had no idea that that was actually going to be the last line. That was completely based off of luck. Uh, no dubby wheel today because recording this is a bitch. And also, I'm drinking some anyway. Passion Joy Tea. Just go over to w.gg, use the code ROXALT, R-O-X-A-L-T at checkout to get 10% off your order. And get yourself some awesome fucking product. Alright, w.gg. They are fucking awesome. But for as heavy as the air felt... All it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So? What are you going to do now? Kill you. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes rabbit. He choked. I forgot. <laughs> okay. R right. She's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive- t No, shut up. Huh? Jesus, if you had time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. I like this guy. However... Perhaps, but... What is the mission exactly? Stupid. <laughs> Stupid idiot! To look for a way out! Duh! And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. This is still really loud. I feel like I fucked something up. But, but before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monica mentioned before doing anything else. True. We stumbled around with no clue what the rules are. Something like that might happen again. Shit. So then... Not like that. Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Makoto Naigi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student, mem a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! Well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what's happening? Based. Personally, I'd love to see what, what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. Why don't you do it then? But... If he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this in my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. So what? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, that's so what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here. None of that made much sense to me. But you're saying that you'll follow the regulations, is that it? Huh? Oh, well... Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right, where it says unless they are discovered. I was wondering th about that myself. Hmm. 
It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. D don't jab at me. We're like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. All right, then let's all start looking around. I'll be going alone. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Let him get killed. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? The fuck's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any type of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass! Stop it! We shouldn't fight! What? The fuck you just say? You some kind of goody-goody little bitch? You wanna throw down- Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my fucking dad or something? N no I wasn't- You son of fuck a bitch! Fuck you! Probably punched. He punched me. <laughs> <laughs> and I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. Like Deku. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Oh. Chapter 1, Time Unknown. Not working out, <sighs> no, yet. Huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I've never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can play. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. Finally, press the F2 key, uh, press the F2 key to review the transcript. This must be the key of the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. All right, cool. Trash kid. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Hey, but I found a penny. Matakuma coin. That's why you want to investigate everything that you can in a room. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says, announcement from headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure to not lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Okay. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. Guess it's locked. 
So can I not take a shit without your say so? Check the drawer where like the na notepad is on your desk. Oh, drawers. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be sleeping anywhere other than doing. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Whee! Leave the area? Fuck yes. Because I hate it here. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Ah! Ah! Oh! Sayaka? I am not going to- Your- your voice is now my voice, okay? S sorry. Are you okay? I can't do that voice, I don't think at least. S sorry Are you okay? Not really. I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just get nervous and I switch to my other voice. My nuts just kind of go up into my body when I get nervous. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> Tighten your abdominal muscles and inhale. <gasps> <laughs> what? The fuck? That's how you suck your dick back into your body. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not exactly that. I kind of have to just like, you know, you pinch your nose and cover your mouth and then you just inhale as hard as you can or like try to and it just kind of slurps itself back up in there. To make it sound worse than it is, I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. Um, but are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto! Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall dining hall? You see, after you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get each other later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. <laughs> Alright. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. So I guess I'll go to the dining hall then. Yeah. Yeah, I just ran into a wall, no big deal. Urgh, invisible walls. The school has got everything. All right, let's go. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's just wait here. You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well... While you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto... Huh? What is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this... Continuing our self-introductions? Uh, um... We kinda got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayaka wants to ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Ask the fucking question! What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to- g Fuck. 
<laughs> Sorry, my nuts dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Y yeah, actually, I, I was. Ah! I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even black in middle, black in middle school. <laughs> Even black in middle school. I was black in middle school, then I lightened up. Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. We went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all of my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. What are you talking about? You're so strange. S strange? That's... <laughs> <laughs> do I try and do a All right. <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Ah! Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Rakoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one who helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay! Ah. And thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Uh. Eh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it just gets me pumped up. <laughs> yeah, pumped up. That's one way of saying it. Which is nice, but still, everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Like, right fucking behind her? So, what time is it right now? What, seven o'clock? At night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for oh, too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start sh showing... Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka. So you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad. I'm sure I'd beat everyone here. <laughs> I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Got it! Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. I'm gonna <laughs> kick you in the dick. That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Alright, let's see what everyone has to say. Okay! It looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here! Hold on a sec. Wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl? Uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. What about her? She's not here. <gasps> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... went has anyone seen her but everyone just shook their heads wait so nobody's seen her <laughs> hint hint why isn't kyoko showing up yet could it be because stabbing strangling bludgeoning crushing hacking drowning igniting how you do it doesn't matter you must kill someone if you want to leave it's as simple as that <laughs> the rest is up to you Give it to give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko, you're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school? 
Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Yes. Yes, he is. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um, Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> hmm, you know? Huh, what's up? <laughs> I feel like you really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? Uh, stop that. I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. But now I really want to go and look for silver hair. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see? Yakua and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Alright, you. <laughs> I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. <clears throat> really? That's it? <laughs> if I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Uh, uh... Right. Understood. At least he knows when to shut up every once in a while. You see? Taka. Taka. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me! There, I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Ah. <sighs> yeah, discovery of the century. Sure, sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anyone else. Or anything else. Each door already has a nameplate on it. So I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. This voice is so difficult to do. And each room's and each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. I think that's the best voice I can do for that, which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And you hear on I find found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out, and you wouldn't hear a thing. Well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. It looks like there are only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom to f ah. <coughs> That's a nice feeling. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seems like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Well, better to have than... Better to have than... Have... Uh, uh, fuck! Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That can't be all you have to report, can it be, Mr. Uh, honor Student? Oh, damn. Got him! Casual roast from the quiet girl. He's at a loss for words. Got it! <laughs> That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. It looks like Leon here and Jimmy are all grouped up together. Okay. Let's find out. We all went up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. But what happened was... Hmm. That face. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad! It really sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks! What the hell are we gonna do? God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Same goes for them, them. Oh, God, this is really good. Cool. Mm. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over, but we didn't find a thing. Sorry. I went back to the main hall thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura what? and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. Duh, shit. It's hard as, like, metal. I wonder why. Well, yes, it is metal. <sighs> anyway, this sucks. if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. <sighs> I shall tell you what happened next. Not really. I shall tell you what happened next. 
You do that voice. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world. It's still worth worrying about. Probably still a shit voice, but I'm trying to just it imitate it. It works better than actual. any of the ones that I have done so far. In both the school and dorm areas, there's a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there are gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we were only able to search the first floor. However, however... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. So wait a minute. However... So I need to try and do that voice. Ha. We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. No. No. <laughs> if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead up to a way out. Let's see... If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. But you're the liar one, so we don't know if that's the truth! <laughs> Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we're not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell were you thinking, just sitting around in the gym the whole time? Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. I'm starting to like this character a lot less. If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I don't want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Mmm. 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 One of them's gonna die first. <gasps> slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All the stress is bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now, you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um, so that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. What? Sure for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? A few here, not very long. <laughs> yeah. you, you can eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. How do you know that? Um... At least, that's what Monokuma said. You saw him? Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, then disappeared again. He was so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with, with a remote control. A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. Huh? Eat him? <laughs> um, what do you mean by that? I mean... When you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Get your fucking mind out of the gutter, you walrus. Come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, stop screwing around all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could just die any second. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. Uh, should I do- I don't know what- <laughs> I guess I'll do this- You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm hmm? Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? I should have known that it was her and just made you do the voice. <laughs> Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you! She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What the? Where did you find this? It doesn't matter where I found it. Kind of fucking does. What the heck? It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! Never mind that. What's it mean? Just look at it. The buildings we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. That's because we're in Hope's Peak Academy, you dumbass. That's so because some people are saying that it's not Hope's Peak. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. It looks like it's had a number of strange 
Renovations done to it. Renovations? Sorry, drinking water. I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But this really is Hope's Peak, where are the- uh, it? Where are all the other students? Dead or gone. Hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work. Oh, okay. There it is. Hey! What? Tim, I'm dying. Stop dying, you coward! Tim. Dying. Stop dying, dying. You coward. Dying. Stop dying, 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 you coward. Oh, wow. Discord really did a refreshing thing for me. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hello. So you just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> that was a good line to come back on. Oh, why are you laughing? What's so funny? This. I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time! We didn't find a way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Huh? It's not so clear to you what is going on. Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we've been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying to think about it. N no way out. We're trapped here. What, what are we supposed to do? Perish. It's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Don't even joke about that. Um. Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. There's gotta be something we can do. All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? A lack of adaptability. A lack of survivability. Those eyes are staring into my fucking soul. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who has come out top more than once, I have a suggestion. Huh? What do you mean? We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Some areas. So, regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. School regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official, but why? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> we will all be afraid someone might try and come and kill us. What? If we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? That's honestly not a horrible idea now that I think about it. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. You all have to agree to follow it. I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like that little goth Ollie just said. If that was something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. We're not going to fucking refer to her as goth Lolita. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. Who the fuck said you would speak for us? What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. I agree with this dude. I like this guy. So is everyone in agreement? Good. Then if you will excuse me, huh? Wait, where are you going? It's almost night time. Let's take a shower before it arrives. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Cele uh, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. S so I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Adaptability. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Hmm. Um, well then, 
What say we all call in into today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Do we really have to stay the night here? Yeah. You don't have a choice. You can't go for a long without getting some sleep. So we have to just give up. That's all fun good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? We find that out tomorrow, how about that? Our only option is to split up and look around again. I'll let everyone know if we find anything. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. And we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um, Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. At least this is a really good way of showing how much I can switch up my voice really quickly. Well, I just have different versions of girl voice and that's about it. You've got different versions of your voice. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Alright. Alright, let's open it up. Rattle, rattle. It's no use. It really is locked. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez, hmm. talk about an overreaction! It's like you just saw a ghost or something! Wah wah? Like some kind of robot bear ghost? What are you doing here? What? Makoto Nagi! It is super duper much bad! <laughs> this is super duper majorly bad! So bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame! Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked, the door just doesn't fit. Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? No, I don't think, actually. ba bum ba bum well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill thing door. And that's what I'm here to teach you! Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob and lift up while you pull! Yes, indeed! Go ahead and give it a try! Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. Ah! You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all! Bye-bye! Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Damn it! Five Nights at Freddy's. Please do the voice so I don't have to. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. I think the phone the doors the to the voice. dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Or me. Ow. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I've been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. And there we go. Is the... So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Oh, come 
can you can you do this, please? I'm gonna do my best Monocum impression. In any normal school, Mr. Monocum would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier was today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Why was that the one that was voiced? <laughs> it's always the last line in Monica Mafita that was voiced. Five nights of Freddy's. And it's the next day. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful, beautiful day. day. Another beautiful day. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound, with a newfound determination, I left my room. 